A day after protests on the UMass campus resulted in more than 100 arrests, protests continued today. 22 News reporter Heath Cab is live in studio with campus reaction following last night's clashes between demonstrators and police. Yes, you are. Last night, tensions between the protesters and the police reached a point that hasn't been seen yet at UMass during these recent rallies. Today, many of those same demonstrators voiced their frustrations on how it was handled. As students continued their ongoing pro-Palestine protests on the UMass campus Tuesday night, many continued to refuse to abide to the university's demands to remove their tents and barriers. Following hours of unrest Tuesday, nearly 130 people were arrested. It's something UMass Chancellor Javier Reyes says is the last resort and not the outcome the school had hoped for. He said, quote, demonstrators rejected our offers for continued civil discourse to help bridge our differences and refused to dismantle their encampment. It was an upsetting night for the demonstrators as well, with one student telling 22 News that both the presence and actions by the police were unnecessary. Our campus turned into a militarized zone um, with hundreds and hundreds of cops deployed on our students for peacefully protesting. And a day later, after over 100 students were arrested on campus, hundreds more gathered here outside of the student union on campus to continue to voice their concerns. Students stood by and continued to protest Wednesday afternoon into the evening. This time with not only a message of what they hope changes in the Middle East, but also their distaste in the university's endorsement of the police action Tuesday. And everyone's out here again because there's nothing more radicalizing and more mobilizing than seeing this happen, than watching this violence happen to students on your own campus where you're supposed to be safe. Many of the students today were rallying, calling for the removal of Chancellor Javier Reyes. Now, the university hasn't yet commented on today's rallies, but the school has continued to show support for Reyes, who was officially inaugurated just a few weeks ago on April 26th. For now, working for you live in studio, I'm Heath Kalb, 22 News.